What's up, guys? This is the Gospel According to Mark with a C. He is I, and I am he. Just taking some time to tell you exactly what's on my mind. And guys, I want to just comment a little bit on the uh, story of the day. You know, it's going to be talked about for a long time. And this is the news that has come out that Agent 007 will now be known as a woman. A woman! <laughs> yes, a woman. All right, and not just a woman, but a black woman. She's black. She's going to be black, a colored woman. She will be black, a sister girl. Yes. And um, what can I say? I'm going to read this article for you guys, and then I'm going to get into my cerebral stylings on the matter. All right. So this particular article that I'm reading from, and you can just take your pick on any article because they're all over the place, but this one is on NME.com. And it says, Captain Marvel star Lashana Lynch will reportedly be introduced as 007 in Bond 25. And it's all thanks to Phoebe Waller-Bridge. Now, that's that heifer who starred as the um, feminist robot in Solo, right? I think that's who it is. I'm not sure. I'll look it up after I uh, do this video. It says here, there are reports that Captain Marvel star Lashana Lynch will be introduced as 007 in the upcoming James Bond film. According to reports in the Daily Mail, Lynch will be introduced close to the start of the film as 007 by M in a history-making moment which would make Lynch the first female character to play the iconic spy. Now, I think that's just a little bit misleading because I don't think she's actually playing the iconic spy. She's just playing um, another spy who's taking on the designation or the code name or number of 007. She's not playing James Bond, obviously unless James Bond is having a sex change as well as a uh, racial reassignment somehow, but I don't think that's what's happening. So she's not playing the iconic spy. She doesn't have the resume of the iconic spy, so let's not get it twisted, all right? Now, I'm not saying she's the affirmative action spy. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm just saying that from this point forward, she's gonna to have to earn her reputation. She's not just stepping in and being iconic, if you know what I mean, okay? Goes on to say, the source added that later, Daniel Craig's bond is set to be brought out of retirement to thwart a global crisis, although it's not certain yet what Lynch's role will be after this. The movie is reportedly, uh, or the move is reportedly down to the intervention of Fleabag creator Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who was invited to liven up the script for the upcoming film, which is still known only as Bond 25. To liven it up, you know, like, like someone just walked onto the set and said, you know what? This could use a woman's touch. Let's put some flowers over here, and let's put some scents over there, and some curtains over there. <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> now, now, it will be a good movie once it suits a woman. <laughs> okay, and it goes on. <clears throat> um, Speaking about her role in the film, in a podcast for the Hollywood Reporters Awards Chatter, Waller Bridge revealed that she has worked on making the film's female characters feel like real people. I mean, so much for escapist fantasy fun, right? They, they have to feel. The female characters have to feel like real people. She added, It's such an exciting story, and it's just been a thrill to work on, before adding that she tried to sneak in some feminist humor. <laughs> Let that be a warning, fellas. Lynch appeared in Captain Marvel earlier this year. A lot of people wouldn't know that because a lot of people um, probably didn't see it. Um, I don't know. Uh, earlier this year as fighter pilot Maria Rambeau, one of the oldest friends of Carol Danvers, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, played by Brie Larson. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that, guys. Earlier this week, there were reports that Christopher Waltz was set to return as Blowfield in Bond 25 after he was spotted on set at Pinewood Studios. <laughs> Whoa, it's so exciting. The Oscar-winning actor played James Bond's ultimate adversary in 2015 Spectre and is set to lock horns with the super spy once more, despite claiming that he wouldn't star in the next movie. <laughs> According to the Daily Mail's Baz Bamingboy, Waltz is currently shooting scenes at Pinewood, which is considered to be the iconic franchise's spiritual home in the UK. Bam, Bam Ming Boy wrote on Twitter, when a visitor spotted him, Waltz insisted, you haven't seen me. <laughs> filming, oh wait, wait, what happened? Oh, filming is currently back underway after Daniel Craig injured his foot during a shoot in Jamaica. Oh, 
poor Daniel Craig, I injure my foot every damn day, but lifestyles of the rich and famous, right? Putting a brief halt on production while the actor recovered from surgery. Um, alright, well that's it for the article, guys. And all I can say about that is, <laughs> I am woman! Um, listen guys, uh, listen, um, congratulations to Lashana Lynch, okay? I am not a hater. Get your money, girl, that's all I can tell you. But another one bites the dust. You know, another um, iconic, legendary, uh, beloved franchise bites the dust. James Bond, 007, they're synonymous. You know, if James Bond retires, 007 retires. If there's going to be another spy, they should have another designation. This doesn't make any sense to me, okay? And it doesn't ring true. All right, how in the hell? Number one, the first thing that pops in my mind, how in the hell is a black woman or a black man going to be an international spy? Most of us can't even get into a semi-upscale department store without getting marked. There he is. Watch him. How are you going to be a successful spy? Uh huh? Someone's just going to see you and just be like, yeah. Something about him. Keep your eye on him. All right. I don't think that a black man or a black woman, for this matter, can successfully spy on any predominantly white organization. It doesn't ring true to me at all. That's all I'm saying. Traditionally, when a white uh, organization employs a black spy, is usually to spy on other black people. Now, if that's what Lashana Lynch is going to be doing, then okay, I see some uh, artistic honesty in that. But other than that, no. Unless she's, maybe she's spying on, um, trying to find out why there's a, a abortion clinic just about in every rundown, predominantly black neighborhood. Maybe she's looking for that. I mean, because before you can get to the bottom of global uh, domination and all that shit, you might want to find out what's going on in your own damn backyard. All right? So that's all I'm saying. Before black people get all up and on their feet and cheer and everything like that, let's remember, we're skipping some steps right now, okay? There are other things that actually plague the areas that black people tend to come from. All right? So if you're going to have a spy or you're going to have an operative or somebody who's going to be looking out for the interests of the people, you might want to have them looking out for the interests of the people that are residents in the community from where they come from. That's all I'm saying. All right? So if you want to have it be a little bit more... Um, uh, true to life. If you want to have it be a little bit more honest, a little bit more authentic, that's all I'm saying, all right? Because these are the pressing issues, you know? Well, I mean, what are you going to call these movies? Are you going to call it um, uh, Octo Mom Pussy? Are you going to call it uh, Goldfinger Nails? Huh? Are you going to call it um, On Her Majesty's uh, Social Service? <laughs> that's right, I said it. All right, so this is all I'm saying, guys. All right, I wish Lashana Lynch all the best. All right, so for all the people who are going to use my words and try to act like, oh, he must be a self-hater. He's on that bullshit. Oh, he, he, he hates black people and all that stuff. All I'm saying is that when I see us up on the big screen, and I'm talk when I say us, I'm just talking about, you know, black people. When I see black people up on the big screen, I want to see something exciting. It's true. But I also want to see something honest, okay? James Bond, 007, is all about the most interesting man in the world, all right? He is the impossibly cool, under pressure. He's shaken, not stirred. You know what I'm saying? He's a womanizer with a purpose, all right? He's enjoying his work, this is true. But he's not just womanizing to, to be womanizing. Usually it's part of his mission. That's what makes his missions so sexy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, all right? And there's no, um, there's no shame in being a Bond girl, all right? Most Bond girls can be classified as independent, as tough, as intelligent, you know what I mean? So it's like this particular um, franchise, it speaks for itself. You know, it doesn't need to be tinkered with. It's, it's escapist fantasy fun, and it has a distinct personality of its own, and it's loved by people of all different persuasions and walks of life and races and religions. This is James Bond 007. It's like doing this, you won't be successful. I, I mean, I don't think you have to be a psychic to uh, figure that out. This is not me losing my mind over a movie. You know, like I said, by now, the people in the comment sections have just gotten so repetitive, you know, with their narrative. You know, you just have to be a racist. You know, you just have to be closed-minded. You just have to be a fanboy. And, and this is what they love. They just love fucking with what they consider to be uptight fanboys. All right? But 
history will judge us to be keepers of artistic integrity, keepers of tradition. You know, in this country, in this world, all right, there are stories that have endured the test of time. You know, what we're doing in Hollywood now is just publicly telling everybody that we are empty headed so-called creators who have completely run out of ideas you know so everything has to be a platform now it's like we don't have any concepts we just have platforms so everybody stands up on their platform and says yes i am going to tout for feminism i am going to tout uh against racism against uh ageism against all types of isms and stuff like that and they're forgetting how to tell a story you know in the meantime all of the uh creative you know legendary iconic characters are being destroyed and they think that people are just gonna stand by and just not say anything and if they do say something you get to demonize them okay you know that's if that's the way you want it to be I guess that's the way you're gonna play the game but it's not gonna stop people from how they feel and you're gonna find out at the box office when this crashes and burns just like everything else that you do this to you know why is it such a revolutionary idea for these people to sit in a, in a quiet room for a while and think up something you know tap into that hidden imagination that all humans should have you know find your inspiration if you want to be inspired by 007 there's nothing wrong with that you know but you don't have to go and do stuff like this and just reinvent the whole thing that doesn't make any sense I have no respect for it even though I have respect for the creators I have respect for the uh, actors and stuff like that yes it is true alright but I'm just saying um, I have no respect for this process and this trend and it, it will be defining of this generation um, years and years from now when people look back on you know the artistic uh, creations of the day you know they're just gonna see a bunch of laziness so um alright guys uh, that's all I have to say about that of course you are welcome to comment and uh, let me know how you feel about it you can like you can share you you can subscribe and when you subscribe please press the notification bell so you know what's going on all right because YouTube they like to you know do all types of crazy shit and uh, I would appreciate you uh, making sure that you are subscribed thank you to all of you and uh, of course you can catch me on Twitter I will leave that link in the description box as well I will be there alright guys that's it for now this is the gospel according to Mark with a C rock on <laughs>